Hi everyone and welcome. Now you're probably wondering, what is Colour Path Golf? Why we created Colour Path Golf? And how you can utilise and benefit from using the concept within your coaching? Well, Kevin's going to explain in a little bit more detail. So what Colour Path Golf is, it's an externally focused learning concept based around four colours. Primarily yellow, blue, green and red. We use each of the four colours individually to represent different aspects of a golf swing within all our swing layouts. Plus, we're able to use the kit in every aspect of the game, which really does help students to learn in a fast-track way. Next, why we created it? Well, it was really down to the fact that we felt there was some tremendous coaching going on out there, but we wasn't sure whether or not the student was necessarily always interpreting that instruction the way it was intended. And with our kit, we feel that we've created a pathway for people to share information and both be on the same page. And finally, how do you use it? Well, it's all about placing down each piece of the kit in specific positions to represent whatever it is you're trying to achieve with your student. We'd like to show you now a few simple little drills that we've created, which you'll have access to in each area of the game. So we're gonna show you something in putting, chipping, pitching, bunker play, iron play, and wood play. We've created a simple path gate setup for putting. Two yellow rulers used to grab your student's attention from where the club should be stroking back and through the ball and control the direction that the putt sets off in. We also have a red ruler here to control ball position in relationship to their body. As you can see, simple, easy and effective little drill. Here we've created a simple chipping station for a mid-trajectory chip shot. We're using the red ruler once again to control the ball position reference and then the green ruler is used as a butt end of the golf club reference. As you can see here, a little bit of forward lean created to create that mid-trajectory chip shot. Here we have a basic pitch shot layout and we've got the red ruler above the ball as a club face alignment reference, the red ruler below the ball as a ball position reference and then two yellow rulers to create a target line and an angled yellow ruler here that John simply rotates to sit the club above before then lowering the golf club to the ground to create the pressure on the front side of the golf ball. Then John just brings the club back behind the ball and we've now got a nice low point with the sternum just in front of the golf ball and the pressure on the front foot ready to make a beautiful pitch shot. Here we have a simple splash shot layout in the bunker. We have a red ruler above the ball as a club face alignment reference, red ruler below the ball for a ball position reference, two yellow rulers used as a target line reference, and then John has just angled his club forwards to sit above the yellow angled ruler, and then he will just feed the golf club through his fingers to match the leading edge of the golf club to the green ruler opposite the yellow angled ruler so that he exposes the bounce when playing this simple splash shot. John will then lower the golf club to the ground and position it just behind the ball, ready to make his swing where the idea will be to allow the golf club to exit in the direction of the elevated green exit path ruler just left of the target line for that perfect splash shot. We have an iron layout referencing an attack angle. We've used a green ruler propped up on a golf ball here just to influence a slightly steeper angle of attack into the back of the golf ball to create pure compression and a strike where it's a ball turf contact. Also, we've got two yellow rulers here to reference the target line and red rulers above and below the ball for club face and ball position reference. Finally, here we've created a wood play launch pad layout by simply propping up a red ruler on a tee peg. This will influence the actual sensation of swinging up a ramp through the impact area to increase the launch angle and trajectory of your drives for that extra distance. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into how you can use your Colour Path Golf training kit in all areas of the game and there's lots, lots more to come. Thank you.